Negotiations. Negotiations are part of everyday life, at home, at work, and definitely in politics. It is a dialogue between two or more people or parties intended to reach an agreement. When preparing the negotiations, you start with defining your goal, your bottom line, and upper limit. This is your bandwidth of the negotiations. Be aware of the alternative when you are not able to reach an agreement with the other party. Is that a better or worse situation? You should also try to find out what the bandwidth of your opponent is and anticipate upon that during the negotiations. You then choose your negotiation strategy. There are three basic negotiation strategies. Arguments. This is the purest way of negotiations, in which you and the other party seek the best possible outcome. There are no hidden agendas. You look for shared interests and common ground, and you share all the information. Both parties are prepared to adapt their position to reach an agreement. Power. In this negotiation style, you use all your power to force the other party to agree with your proposal. You put pressure, you threat, and you play it hard. Obviously, the stronger your own position, the likelier that this style will result in the desired outcome. Exchange. If you give me this, I'll give you that. In negotiations based on exchange, you gain insight in what the other party's true interests are. You assess what you can offer and what you can get in exchange. But do not exchange at all costs. Some values are non-negotiable. Remember that in politics you have a different relationship than you have with a salesman on the market. In the latter, you might threaten to walk away when you think the price is too high. In politics, you will be in a meeting again the next week with the same party negotiating about another important topic. So, be tough on the content and soft on the relationship. Negotiations are not a competition, but a way to reach agreement between two or more parties with different views.